Oh. Bro, gloves, a hazmat suit? Bro, I don't know. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're having an awesome day. Just want to start off today's vlog. Are you trying to interrupt my vlog? Are you trying to interrupt my vlog? Do you want me to come up there? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Guys, today is an exciting and special day. Not only is it because we have this little cutie pie. Hello, little cutie pie. Hello, little cutie pie. Are you taking a poop? Yeah, you're, oh, it's stinky. You're taking a poop, aren't you? Yeah, I feel like every time I point the camera at you, you're taking a poop. -poo. <laughs> She's getting excited. <laughs> Don't get too excited because every time you lift up, I'm getting a whiff of that poo poo, okay? Layla is chilling here. Ronnie is at her grandma's. I'm about to go do something very special. Guys, I haven't been ghost hunting in a while. I haven't gone abandoned places in a while. That's my wife excited because I'm finally leaving the house. I am, I, it's just just a night trip. Just, we're going tonight. All those coming over any minute now. I'm about to uh, head out. We're about to go check out some abandoned spots and some haunted spots. Places we haven't done before and some places that we have done. It just all depends. The thing is, with abandoned locations, they always change. Especially in Ottawa, things get torn down really quickly. Things go away. Things don't last for long. So we're going to go check out some spots. We're going to go check out this abandoned school. Hopefully it's good. But I'm also going to be bringing along some ghost gear. The only stuff that I'm really... I'm going to go light today, all right? This is my first, um, you know, ghost hunter adventure back since I did my surgery. And now that I can actually be out and about, all I'm taking is a K2 meter, which needs a battery. It's like very dim low 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 so i gotta go change the battery on this and my rem pod so these are the only two things that i'm taking with me obviously some water some liquid energy liquid energy for now and uh, what else we got going on in here and just some extra lights and stuff inside my backpack that's all i'm gonna be taking on today's adventure i don't know if i'm gonna go hatless for today's main channel video i've never done that so i don't know maybe i should maybe i shouldn't um still kind of healing i got a haircut today and a beard lineup. Well, not really a haircut. I just had my hair cut up to here, kind of like fixed up a little bit. You don't want to, it's still fresh, all right? You don't want to irritate the skin after the surgery, you know? Don't want to be cutting too much hair upwards. Just got a hair a little bit on the side, little kind of fade to blend everything in. My guy fixed up my beard a little bit, so now I don't look all weird and messed up. I'm starting to look like Mo Sarji again, except with a hairline now. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I think I kind of want to film today's main channel video without a hat. We'll see how that's gonna go. But I might change my mind about that. I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready yet. I don't know if I'm ready yet. We'll see, we'll see. Shadia, ah. let, me, let me ask you a question. Ah. <laughs> let me ask you a question. What? Are you happy that your husband's leaving the house? Are you, did you just pick your nose? I did this. That's picking your nose. That, cla that classifies as nose picking. <laughs> what are you, Ronya now? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, Ronya goes like this. Ronya does all these weird faces to us all the time when she's mad. <laughs> How do you feel about your husband leaving the house now? Not he's been he's been here for like no comment two weeks. Just no comment. No comment. Are you, you're happy though, right? Yes. Yeah, so I am doing a USA road trip soon, um, and I think after my birthday. My birthday is November third. There is a new PO box. If y'all want to send some gifts, the the PO box is down below. But after my birthday, I am hitting the road. I told Shadia for the next two months, forget that you have a husband because I gotta grind for you guys. I will I gotta, definitely forget that because <laughs> I I. I don't forget, forget, but like. Recycle! I ain't taking a part of that recycling scam. Get the heck why out of here. Why don't you just put away the garbage that Bro, you. Bro! Why do you always gotta bash me and shit? This, you're done? Yeah, you can clean right, that for you're me. Done? Yeah, but you're the woman. Where, where do you put it? You're the woman. You gotta do the dishes. I, I gotta get you working here, right? I employ you. So you gotta, you gotta do something. You gotta earn your wages around here. You gotta earn your steaks around here, young lady. You gotta earn your diapers around here, okay? Stop picking your nose! Well, I just came over here to rescue this guy. Yo! Bro, what the heck are you even doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. This guy is literally apparently stranded. He he, he told me off camera, guys. He got stranded out here um, in the middle of nowhere. He drove his car onto what, mud? Yeah, my car drove into mud and it just got stuck, so I'm stuck here. So I just had to come all the way out here and get all detailed before we went and filmed um, literally in the middle of a cornfield. Dude, that's freaking creepy. What a creepy spot. Yeah, there's a haunted school bus somewhere down there, but I can't even find it. 
A haunted school bus in a cornfield? Dude, that's so crazy. Yeah, like, why would it even be there, right? Yeah. Well, you want to come with me to an abandoned spot? I mean, I have no choice, bro. My <laughs> car's stuck. <laughs> well, are, you, are we just going to leave it here for today? Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, guys, so this guy's literally stuck. His car was stuck in a cornfield somewhere um, in mud. Yo, what the hell is that? I don't know. What is that? Guys, right we were about, about, we were about to leave, and I didn't know. Oh, what is it? It's a hazmat suit. It's like why's, someone's suit, dude. Why is there a hazmat suit? I don't know. That's weird. Dude, I bet you the reason I can't find the school bus is the guy who like owned it probably moved it somewhere. Or the corn is so overgrown. That we just can't find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That could be it too. But man, it is, guys, look at this. We're all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. It's starting to rain or snow. I don't know. One or the other. It's getting wild. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. To Look, why would there be an abandoned school bus in the middle of a cornfield? Isn't that just the weirdest thing? It's like some Texas Chainsaw Massacre shit, right? Yeah. I heard that the owner kidnapped a bunch of children and he took them out because the bus says De La Salle on it, which is actually a high school. Oh, shit. Or I think it's an elementary school. Like, it's not like just a random school bus. It has a school on it. So weird. Yeah, school name. Let's actually explore a little bit. Dude, you want to go into the cornfield? It's starting to rain. Yeah, let's check it out quick. Maybe you can help find <gasps> Yo, the look, there's gloves here. Oh, what the hell? Bro, gloves, a hazmat suit? Bro, and in a haunted, abandoned school bus in the middle of the field. I'm telling you, something's going on here. Bro, somebody killed somebody here. I'm, I know, something happened here. Okay, I'm gonna get a flashlight quickly, one sec. There's like gloves here. There's a hazmat suit. Man, somebody like got murdered out here. Must have. Or some, somebody was doing something shitty out here in this cornfield. Oh, look, actual corn. That's freaking cool. <laughs> You know you can't even eat this corn. Are you serious? It's like more petrol. Yeah. It's more for like petrol. Dude, it's really muddy. How the hell did you even find your way out of here? Bro, to be honest, I didn't know. I just could walk with that. I really couldn't walk with you. Yo, I found something. You found something? Bro! What the hell? Okay, all right, yo, I swear to God. Yo, so we find a hazmat suit, we find gloves, wipes. Somebody was wiping down evidence. Oh, oh, what the heck? Dude, something happened here. Yeah, like actually. Bro. What else were we gonna find? <laughs> I look, this looks like it was kicked down recently. Is anyone down there? All right, let's keep going and see if we can find someone that got murdered out here. We don't want to get lost though in the cornfield. That's for sure. That is not on my bucket list of things to do today. Get lost in a muddy cornfield. But hey, if we do, um, at least let, let's try to find some some content like so the reason why we're actually going through this right now honestly guys well we're looking for that school bus Aldo lost his car and there's a missing school bus in here somewhere hello is anybody out here in the cornfield hello is anyone here do you know where the school bus is dude I feel like we're just gonna find somebody out here it's gonna be hello? like hello oh, oh. what was that Yo, did you hear that yeah it's coming from over there. Yo, so we heard some weird noises. I wonder if I could find anything. Like, I found a hazmat suit, some gloves, some wipes. And that tells me someone was doing something shady in here. Like, there could be a body. You know, somebody could have, like, buried somebody or, or killed somebody or even a dead animal. You know what I mean? Like, people do shady shit out here in, like, the middle of nowhere. How scary is this, though? Oh, 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 no! Something's chasing after me! Oh, oh, oh. Where are you? Help! Where are you? Oh, shit! Ah. Aldo! Oh, no! I got one! Yo! What? Whoa. Something just chased after me inside. Let's get the hell out of let's here. Get the hell out of Something here. is yeah, here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, wait. Which way do we go? Uh. What the hell? Wait, did we come from this way? Dude, I think we're lost. Uh, Screw it. I'm just gonna run through here. Okay, this is the way out. This is the way out. Guys, look at how annoying this is. My first day trying to film videos for you guys. Everything that I've been going to has been torn down tonight. Literally gone, and now it's raining. Yeah. Today's been a big fat L. All right, Sarge family jumping into the night. This looks like the vibes from hell right now. We're trekking through this forest path to go to this abandoned house. Um, I don't know why, we just 
trying to kill some time. It's raining, and honestly, I just wanted to go to an abandoned house. It's been a while. I didn't do anything for the main channel, but you know what? Let's uh, let's go and explore an abandoned house. We've been here before in the past, but I've always wanted to come back and see how this place is looking after all these years. It's been a while since I've been here. Yeah, this was the entrance. It's, it's completely overgrown. Let's go in from the backside. Yo. Why are you saying this used to be the entrance? Yeah, over here on the left. But it's completely overgrown, I think. Uh, actually, wait, come through here. I found it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Whoa, this place is terrifying. Hello? Are there any demons here? I guarantee you I got a spider in my hair. Yeah, I probably did too. <laughs> All right, Sergeant family, I'm gonna give you guys a spooky one. Originally, I was gonna come out and film a main channel video, but this guy needed rescuing, and then it started raining, and I kind of got demotivated. So I'm like, why not just take you guys somewhere abandoned? Bro, this place is terrifying. I've had some weird shit happen to me in the past here. I'm surprised it's kind of still the same way since the last time I left it. Like, not too much has changed. Right? I mean, you guys know I always give you more family-friendly stuff, but it is Halloween season, so we can give them the, the scary stuff, right? Dude, I miss doing this. Oh, hey. Something upstairs. Yeah, me too. Hello? Should we go and explore? I don't have any weapons on me. Let me just make sure this room is empty and clear. Question is, are we gonna find it? Uh, why does this place look so different? Hello? Anyone there? We heard something here. We know you're here. Dude, look what it says. What? It says you're next. Oh, great. Dude, that wall looks like it's about to collapse. This is the main bedroom. It's it's completely gone now. There's nobody up here, dude. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. There's like no sound here anything. Yo, know, in the past, yeah. I've caught so much paranormal in here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this place is gonna be haunted or something. <gasps> oh! What the? Bro, oh. I, I kid you not, I have what caught the... I have caught that in the past moving. Bro, we just caught this on uh, right now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I, I don't want to spend too much time here. Wait, wait. So there's nobody here, right? Okay. I don't see them. Unless, unless they jumped out this window. They probably did. There's and I'm window. jumping down. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Like it's been a while since I've done this, bro. There's literally Screw a window up. that's randomly open. Somebody maybe jumped out. Bro, that's terrifying. But we definitely heard. Them. For sure. I mean, let's just keep looking and see. There's nobody here. Yeah, there's definitely nobody here. So, we gotta just keep looking around, I guess. Yo, we haven't been to the basement. We've never been down there. Maybe they went down in the basement. Like, we know for sure that someone is here. We just don't know where they are or what it is. Maybe it was a raccoon. Yeah, maybe it was an animal. Oh. What the f*** was that? Yo, that came from... What was that? I heard something. That came from here. Are you in here? Hello? Okay, that was really scary. What the hell did we just hear? I don't know, man. It sounded pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if a raccoon would have made that sound, bro. Also, bro, I, this is the first time I've explored abandoned without a hat on. Oh, yeah. So, like, I feel very vulnerable. Mm. <laughs> like, but no, 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 no it's like... Tasty. No, I feel like, like, my hat protected me. Yeah. I feel vulnerable. Yeah, something's just gonna fall on your head. <laughs> what the hell? Like a little bee, yeah. hope not. So, there is a basement. I know we just heard some sounds, but where's the basement? It's over here. Oh my god! Oh, uh, there's a catch to it though. There's no staircase. Uh, what the? Okay, so just jump then. Huh? What? I'm just joking. Bro. I mean, I could do it, oh, but no. the last time I was here, the basement was flooded. Right now, it's not. So I've never been down here. How do you not have a jacket? It's freaking cold. There's a baseball bat. What the? 
I'm not that cold. Hello? Anyone down there? Dude, whatever that thing was, it sounded heavy, so be careful. Oh. Oh my god. You okay. Oh my god, dude, everything's down here. Really? Yeah. Oh. Whoa, I've never been down here. Okay, I'm gonna come down too. Here, let me get your camera. This guy's literally putting on gloves, and I came down here, no gloves, nothing. So I don't want to rip this jacket. But... Alright. <laughs> well, we're already dirty and covered. Watch, watch your step, because there's nails and stuff. So hang on to something. Yeah. You, know. oh. you okay? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> hey, look, there's a door. We can actually get out of here. Look, from the basement. We can actually come oh, out from the basement. Thank you so much for holding this. Guys, I think we can just destroy our way out. <laughs> actually, did. <laughs> I think we're supposed to climb on that. No, dude, look, there's boots. Oh, there's boots in here. Somebody's walking upstairs. I thought I heard something. Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. This is cool. Oh, there's a secret, a secret rule over here. What the hell is this? Looks like somebody's living in here. I believe we're in the middle. I don't know. There's like a bed over there. What? Yeah. I've never seen this. A whole jar, a cabinet of drawers, ancient drawers. Oh my god. There's like old furniture here too. A lot of shoes. Dude, this place is weird. Everything is just destroyed. And we're in the middle of the basement, in the middle of the forest. In an outer place. Yeah, like, look at this. There's vinyl records here on the ground. Dude, is that a fridge? It is a fridge, but look at this. Vinyl records? What the hell? I'll That's pray so some cute. frisbee. Woo! That's cool. And oh, look at the tre treasure chest. Right beside you. Oh, it's a very treasure. That's a treasure chest. I wonder what's in it. Oh, I mean, it's really nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a legit treasure chest. Yeah, it's a legit treasure chest. Oh dude. my god, yo, that's freaking cool. What? That's actually so cool. Okay. <gasps> oh. in here oh, what the hell is it? bro it looks like look like... hello dude there's something behind there there's something behind the tarp should i look yeah, yeah. Go on, let's go. Let's go. hello is anything down there we don't want to hurt you oh my god there's a baby's bed what yeah Gross. Hello? Is, it, is there anything else back there? No, it looks like a baby's bed, but. That's it? Yeah. <gasps> go, 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 go! What the fuck is that? Oh, what is that? Go, that? go. Dude, I knew it. I knew it was there. Dude, let's fucking go. Let's fuck go. It. Get out of here. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, dude, it's, I, can't, I can't crawl on this. Hold on my head. Where are you Aldo, turn off your light. Oh, 
not too late. Get in, get in, get in, quick, quick, quick. Get in. Oh, holy shit. There's a man out there with a dog. There's a guy out there with a dog. There's this? He had a flashlight and everything. Was, it's I saw him, I saw him. Dude, let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. I can't believe we made it back to the car. Oh my god. Dude, there was a guy with a flashlight. Dude. And a dog. What the hell? What the hell? He yelled at us. <sighs> Bro, what the hell? Bro, I can't believe that shit. Oh, yo, what the hell was that, bro? The dog literally heard the, whatever the hell that thing was, the dog heard it. A dog started, by, uh, yeah, like we heard a weird noise and then out of nowhere, this dog started barking and then we heard some man outside. Holy shit. And he literally came after us. I think we're being followed. And we, what the hell, how's this not cool? Yo, I think we're being followed. Are you serious? Yeah. What the hell? Now that I've collected my thoughts a little bit, yo, that was so scary because I didn't know who was gonna be waiting for us outside because when I was down there, I heard somebody talking and I'm sure my camera picked up on it. We did find a way outside, out of the basement through uh -huh. all that stuff. Yeah. But literally there was a dog waiting right at that door. Yeah. And there was a man. How weird, bro. And we were in the middle of the forest. And honestly, I was really expecting to jump out of the house and having somebody waiting right there to like, can shoot us or something or do something bad i thought we were gonna be hunted bro. yeah i yeah. thought we were gonna be goners for sure it, it's weird from the moment we got there i felt like we were being stalked from the moment we went to the cornfields to the moment we uh we got to this house i felt like i was being stalked like the whole time there was like a stalker after us that was scary huh? my first time going to an abandoned spot in a little while and honestly it kind of like it, like the, the energy's there like i love it you know like it made me all hyped up and everything yeah it's scary bro it's scary but, it's real danger yeah real danger people don't understand that anyways guys go check out all those channel he did a video go watch how we got stuck in the mud oh my god and searching for a haunted school bus <laughs> which end up leading to here to me picking him up and saving his ass yeah it is currently the next morning i just finished editing this vlog wow Honestly, I should drop this video on the main channel because it's absolutely insane. I might actually still do that later on, but holy wow, the adventure that we went on, like honestly guys, I had no motivation to film a main channel video after I went outside and it started raining. Like I was excited at the beginning of the vlog as you guys had seen, but then the moment it st started raining, I was like, oh no, I don't wanna do this anymore. I, I just wasn't motivated. It's cold, it was annoying. And then I had to go and rescue Aldo from the cornfield. And then I'm like, you know what? We're kind of nearby this abandoned house. It's been a while since I've been to it. Let's go and check it out and see what happens there. I wasn't really expecting anything, but then this random guy shows up with a freaking dog. And the camera didn't capture him yelling at us, but when we were in the house, I can hear him with my own ears. He's yelling like, hey, who's in there? Get the hell out or something like that. I don't know who this guy is. This house has been abandoned for like literally 40 years um, on like this abandoned forest property in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know where this guy came from out of nowhere. Like maybe he was trying to hurt us. Maybe he was living in this place and he did have a dog. So it could be some homeless guy but it could also could have been a stalker. Literally from the get-go, I felt like we were being stalked. From the moment we got there, I had this weird feeling. And honestly, I was right. My guts are always right. Like I always listen to my to my thoughts. I was gonna go out from that little crawl space from the basement, but I felt like if I had went out there, he would have been right there. Cause if you guys noticed in the video, as Aldo and I were climbing back up, you can see his flashlight peering in through there. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let's just go upstairs and run out to the left. Cause he was on the right side of the house and just run out into the darkness and get the hell out of there. All in all, we got out of there safe and sound. That was freaking scary. I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, it is the next day, so I am starting another vlog, Vlogtober. Um, today's 25, but for you guys, it's episode 24. As you guys know, the, the vlogs are behind one day. We are killing it, guys. We're almost there. I think I might continue daily vlogging even in November, guys. So if you want that, let me know in the comments below. All you have to do is smash that like button. Get yourself that Mosargi Haunted Paranormal merch and the Live a Little merch. The links are going to be down below. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive, and just live a little, and I'll see you on the next one.